what's up everybody we got an exciting day man welcome to the review of the new van hunks elite pro angler or elite angler pro whichever way you want to put it the new 13 foot fishing beast from van hunks that just released for 2022 we were fortunate enough to get our hands on one it is strapped to the roof of the car on j hooks right now which is very very sketchy now it's not bad it's on there good it's not moving it's just so much bigger than the mahi is and you wouldn't think that the two feet really made a difference but man side by side they are two totally different rigs so i'm very very excited to get this one on the water uh, and check it out we're running up to a local lake um, just so I can get some review footage and to show you guys all about it. Uh, I'm still learning about it. These are all like kind of my first impressions. I haven't even got it on the water yet. It was just delivered yesterday. So we're going to go up, unload it. Um, I'm going to get it all set up the way I would fish it or the way I think I'm going to fish it. And then we'll take some time and kind of do a walk around. I'll show you all the features, what's new, what's changed, what's different. And then once we get all set up there, we'll get out on the water and I'll try to give you guys two different camera angles, um, kind of of what it all is going to look like. So we are making our way up to Keystone State Park in Pennsylvania's Laurel Highlands. And we're going to go get on the water, man. All right. See you guys up there what's going on guys so kyle here with van hunks hey i wanted to jump in on this um we just got the elite angler pro behind me um and i wanted to jump in and kind of do a quick walk through and a review similar to the mahi and just kind of show you guys what it looks like um what it's all about we are out here at keystone state park and there is the beautiful elite angler pro this boat is absolutely unbelievable. We got it kind of rigged up, sort of how I'm thinking I'm gonna use it for a tournament setting. I'm gonna switch this net and the pole around just to kind of show the boat a little bit more. There we go. So we'll start kind of like we do with the Mahi Man, and this is the setup that I use. And we're just gonna go through, kind of tip the tail on it. Um, and walk through it i know there's a little bit of shadow on it but i'll try to get closer and kind of show you guys what it all looks like so up front you have a solid molded handle real flat surface that leads into this nice dry cover that comes with it there actually is a slip for your paddle here so if you're sitting in your seat and you want to slide your paddle up you can pop it right in there so under here is just kind of like a an open dry storage right what's really nice for those of you that like to uh to run wires pop these six screws out that's just hole access so that's just a covered up hole access there are three of these on the boat that you can get to so you can hide all your wires wire up lighting i'm actually going to put lighting up here down there and in the back um, moving forward you have your hole straight down to your transducer port and that leads into two little clips that lift up into a dry storage. Um, this dry storage I'm going to use specifically just for my fish finder. I have a battery in there. You could run a bigger one. I highly recommend the Nokua or the Nokua. Um, this one specifically for Lorance fits right in. I just have the wire fished up through. I just got this yesterday, so we're gonna do that a little bit cleaner, but for right now, that serves its purpose pretty well. Um, wire comes up through the back, right into the fish finder. This box does come with a accessory track mount on it, which is super useful. So you just drop our Lorance fish finder right on top, or Garmin or Hummingbird, whichever you use. Um, I just have a Yak Attack mount, and it works flawlessly. This locks up, boom, we're good to go. You do have a bungee strap right here, should you want to use one. Now this is similar to the Mahi and the other Van Hunks models. Um, there is a 
foot pedal system for your rudder on the right and the left and then you have your hand lever on the other side new from van hunks and we're going to get real close on these because they're awesome is this drop-in system for your foot drive for your pedal drive these just real i mean no pressure open up you slide it down the ramp it flips in when it kicks in it clips this shut and your drive is locked in place so if you've seen some of the other one or like how it is on the mahi i had those little metal clasps those are no more this is the new system it's opened i like how easy it is there's not a lot to mess with i gotta tighten one screw down it sounds like um but it's great the new box also locks in with a new wing nut system rather than the old slide latches which i really like because on mine the slide latches made it really difficult to keep it in place as i like pushed hard with my feet i'd see the box kind of flex these lock this thing down tight if you guys do have a mahi a shad a pike um and you're just thinking about that elite angler and that's why you're watching the video reach out to van hunks in sarasota they do have these you can uh ask to, or order them to switch it out it's just a screw and it'll set you guys up a lot nicer than the old method for the boxes if it's something you're struggling with uh, moving on you got two accessory tracks on both sides this is the gopro mount that's my paddle holder right there and then work our way back down the boat up front one two fishing rod holders up front um nice giant deck space to work out of you guys will see when we're out on the water one of my favorite parts so far about this boat and i'm going to try to make this get real low so you can see excuse my finger the track for the chair is up here you have a solid four three or four inches probably up to that chair so you sit a lot higher than the standard where you're kind of recessed a little bit um super super useful so the chair itself sits up just a little bit higher underneath the chair something pretty cool we have a lockable tackle storage with another dry bag on top this is going to be extremely useful we're going to lock this in place so it doesn't slide back i'm on a hill this is going to be super useful come tournament time i can fit a full probably two plano tackle boxes i'm going to use this for soft plastics that i use a lot and that i hate digging for um just slips right in take your bungees and these are still very very tight bungees back over and it'll keep the water out and kind of keep you good to do to go so then this if you want to you can absolutely leave this up front and still sit and have plenty of leg room your legs clear just fine or you can put a recess back on both sides you have a tackle box holder and just to show you kind of the depth of this this is a full-size tackle box from plano and it fits right inside so i can fit that and my pliers without an issue on this side is the cleat with the ball that runs back to the rudder um, all you have to do is pull up and release this and it'll let the spring action rudder back down it's nice because it's spring action so if you're if you're tracking and you hit a rock and you know you're moving forward this way if you hit something too shallow your rudder comes back up and then when you get deep again it'll let itself back down this is a manual control when it's locked right here because we're on ground it will not let you in it won't let it down it won't let it get injured you just got to pick it up Boop, pop the cleat and you're good to go uh, you do have your paddle holder and i'm working back we have one two three four extra rod holders so a total of six on the deck i don't even have a need for my swivel rod holder anymore honestly and i don't know that i'm going to use my milk crate all that much 
that alleviates a lot of extra weight for me. And I think it puts us in a little better spot as far as space goes. Um, I'm gonna see what I'll use the back for, I'm not sure yet. So working back, you have your dry storage, GoPro batteries, again, hull access if you need to get in there. And this just drops back down. This actually needs to go underneath that. Boom, drops down, locks up. Locks up. Locks up, I didn't spin it enough, there we go. Upside down is locked. And then a little further back, your bungees that come with, tons of space, extra gear track, extra gear track. If you don't want to use them for bungees, you want to mount a GoPro, pull back here, however you want to do it, you're good to go. Um, in the box, or in the kayak when it gets to you, out of the box, I guess I should say, you will have this plastic mount, metal down here, plastic on the sides, two screw holes right where my fingers are. You pop this on and you have an extra carry handle in the back as well as two brass fittings in here if you want to add something to it, like a flag. Um, again, accessory track. And then the only other thing that's different on this side than the other is we have our rotor control here. So right, left, just sits to your left side. Uh, curious to see how this works. So we're gonna test that out in the water today. Just screws right in, loop your rope through, tie it off, good to go. One more thing that I totally forgot in the back. Let's see if I can get it out of the shadow. You guys can see, I mean, this is a 32 inch measuring board and it fits in here. So you have well, just about three feet of space in the back. That means you have 10 feet up front to work with. That's insane. Um, this is one, two, three, four screws. Access to your rudder system. If you want to switch between the hand rudder and the um, the hand rudder and the foot rudder system, you just switch the strings around and you're good to go. And then you have four brass fittings as well. If you want to mount in power poles, controlling motors, there's four on each side, so eight total. That give you some options. Um, deck matting all throughout. We're gonna get back to the side without the shadow. Yeah, we got deck matting all throughout. Give you a little extra grip when you're walking. Uh, overall, man, I am I'm super super impressed. Um, it's a solid boat. It weighs 81 pounds. Uh, you have plenty of space side to side. It's a real real big boat. The fin drive from the Mahi or the Shad or the Pike, if you're looking to upgrade, drop right in. It, real simple to use. Um, we're going to get it out on the water. We'll do a little review out there. I'll show you guys kind of how it works. And we will uh, we'll go from there. So, I appreciate it, man. Thanks so much for checking it out. Guys, if you have questions and you're not going to stick around for the water, the water portion, um, if you have questions in regards to anything about these boats, anything about the other line, the Pike, the Shad, the Tarpon, the Black Bass, the Mahi, the Manatee, whatever it is, feel free to ask. Send a DM, reach out. I'll be happy to help. This thing is absolutely amazing. It is an absolute beast. Um, but we're going to go put it in the water. We'll check it out and we will uh, see how it goes. All right, guys. So here's the new view, man. Here is the new view. We are in the Van Hunks Elite Angler Pro. I have to figure out which way my rudders go because I don't know yet. So this is the view inside, man. As you can see, we have a ton of room. I am not even close to the front of this boat. You can move around. This is sturdy as all get out. We're going to use this guy as like a POV view from the front of the boat um, all in time. Uh, so a little bit about the boat. This is a 13 foot double pontoon hull. Um, it's still rotomolded. molded We have a storage box up front with a 
track, an accessory rail right in the middle of it, which is awesome because that allows us to just run the fish finder right there, nice and clean, no worries at all. Um, two track rails on the sides. You have two more in the back, plus a carry handle that has a track built into it. Um, you have two fishing rod holders up here. You have four in the back. Underneath us, I'm gonna see if I can get this view right. You have tackle storage, which is one of the coolest ideas. I haven't seen another boat with this yet. I could be wrong, but boom, there's all tackle storage. So like soft plastics, baits you need access to real quick. You can store right here. Anyway, pedals are from the Mahi. We have upgraded clasps, like I was saying. New box locking mechanism, just wing nuts and a clamp. Let me slide this tackle tray back underneath. There we go. So that just tucks away. You have one and two tackle box storage units. Um, I'll show you guys the back from the, the POV view here in a minute. Um, and then you have, I mean, the amount of space you have in the back of this boat is unreal. Sturdy as hell. Standing up isn't a problem at all. We can actually stand up. I could probably comfortably almost walk to the front of this boat. But you have plenty of space. It is super, super sturdy. Nice little foot pads. Standing up in this is actually a lot easier than standing up in the Mahi because this sits up, as you guys saw in the ground review, um, it sits up just a little bit off the deck and your chair rail is up here where on the other ones that Van Hunks has done, this usually is recessed down almost level with the deck in most cases. So this being up higher really plays well with your angle to sit you feel a lot higher. Um, so down is right, up is left. Your rudder control, let's see if I can get a good shot of this. Your rudder control is on the side. Down is right, up is left. What I like about this rudder versus others is it's on a drawstring and a cleat to the side. So the rudder that man this thing handles so much nicer than the mahi the rudder on the mahi kind of sits down almost flush with the bottom of the boat and it it absolutely works and gets the job done it's just a little bit slower on the uh uptake this is and i don't know if it's the box just being more stable but this feels so much smoother to move on um it's a hell of a lot quicker in the water and it tracks so well. Big heavy boat, it weighs in at 81 pounds, it's 36 inches wide, um, but you have a lot of room. You still get the optional foot pedals, which if I were to use those, I'd have to move my seat way, way up. Um, there's a bunch of fish on the fish finder right here. I love having that right in front of me. I don't have to look left or right. And when you steer, it makes a pretty big difference in or I'm sorry, not when you steer, when you stand, it makes a very big difference in your ability to see what is in front of you without really having to mess with your screen too much. So we had a bunch of fish on the fish finder over here. It's only 12 feet of water, similar to what we fished the other day at Q Mahoning. So we're gonna pitch up over here a little bit and just see if we can't get bit. This rudder is far more responsive. I gotta say, man, I am, uh, I'm super impressed. Not that I expected not to be, but I'm just very, very impressed at how well this boat handles. This is uh, a more than capable boat. That really lets you, I mean, look how stable this is. I could get out of my seat, come all the way down to you, do what I gotta do. I could probably stand and walk that far too, but it's a little easier to bounce around like that. Um, Super comfortable, super capable boat. Super fun to be in. This is like, this is insanely comfortable. 
but overall man uh, i cannot be more impressed this is by far the best kayak that i've ever had the pleasure to sit in you know i, I can't say enough good things about it we did the walkthrough review i kind of showed you how i would set it up um, on tournament day and i really just think that it's it's more than capable for what anybody would need as far as a fishing kayak goes it's comfortable it tracks great it's gigantic you have more than enough room uh, i mean in all reality you, you couldn't ask for anything else or anything more out of a fishing kayak so if you guys have any questions if you have anything that you know you're curious about does this work does that work what's this like um, how does it stack up to some of the other boats in the lineup from Van Hunks? Uh, be it fin drive, propeller drive, or uh, a paddle, true paddle driven boat. Um, just give a shout. I'd be happy to help. Ask questions, throw them in the comments, ask in the DMs. However, it's easy for you. Um, you know, I, I can definitely walk you through what these boats are capable of. So feel free to throw your questions in. Let me give you a hand if I can. And then we'll go from there, man. I appreciate you guys checking out the video. I appreciate you checking out Van Hunks. Again, I can't thank them enough for blessing me with the opportunity to work out of this boat to represent them on their pro staff. Um, there's gonna be a lot of good fishing done on this thing and I can't wait to really get in and fish a serious day early in the morning. I think that's where this is gonna shine. The blue stone color is absolutely gorgeous. It's gorgeous. But yeah, man, if you guys have any questions, just give a yell. I'm gonna go uh, get loaded up. We're gonna get home. Just a little quick review day, bouncing around the water. Um, little fishing footage with no fish but that's all right it wasn't really a fishing day we will definitely uh we will have this out when it is i think next weekend we have the pima tuning tournament and we have the van hunks tournament going simultaneously for the pro staff so lots and lots of fishing to come the year is just beginning Thank you guys so much for tuning in, man. I really appreciate it, sincerely. Uh, again, if you have any questions, please reach out. I'd be happy to help. And I'll link you up with you guys on the next one. All right, man, do me a favor. Hit the like button, hit subscribe, jump in for more kayak content, and then some more outdoors content this fall. We finally got the bird dog in training. Um, so we're gonna be doing a lot of video of that this fall with the chest rig. I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for stopping in. Tight lines, guys.